If you're a student and you're thinking about using Notion or you've got Notion but you're not really sure where to go with it or what to do with it, stick around because in this video I'm going to show you how I've used the Notion templates and how I've applied it in my postgraduate education. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. So as you can see, students actually have quite a lot of templates that Notion has already made for you, probably because they have that free plan for students and teachers. So for me personally, I didn't actually use the club homepage, but I did use some of the ideas from it. So I did use the gallery view, and I did like the idea of having all of my university club information in one place. The classroom home is very similar, but it does cross over with some of the other templates that Notion has made. And the biggest example of that is the weekly schedule, because I think most students, I know myself, struggle with the schedule and the timetable and being in the right place at the right time, etc. So having the weekly schedule on the homepage instead of it as a page by itself was actually quite useful just to see how they did it. The syllabus template wasn't actually something I thought I'd need, but during my undergraduate degree and postgraduate degree, you have module outlines and that's what I actually use the syllabus for. So each module had its own sort of syllabus, all the learning outcomes, expectations, reading lists and things like that. That's what I actually put in my syllabus page. When it comes to grade calculators and plagiarism, I personally didn't use a grade calculator, even though they do have a page for that specifically. And plagiarism, I actually just used the plagiarism from the university because it's kind of different. But having some of the rules on referencing, such as like, are you using the Harvard method? How do you do it? That sort of thing can actually be quite useful. Now, I actually moved home before I started using Notion, so I didn't actually get to use this page. But seeing it now, it's actually really, really useful. And I wish I had it when I was still studying with other students. The course schedule I think speaks for itself and I think you should probably have that on your homepage rather than a separate page. The job application page is actually quite a nice page and I didn't really think about using it when I started using Notion, but I've actually seen quite a lot of people create CVs and portfolios on Notion. So having your cover letter, current resume, portfolio all linked into a job application page or just having a page dedicated to those things is actually quite a nice idea. And it would definitely make your life easier if you need to go and reference those things in your filing system on your documents is not very good. And as you can see, you can also track all the applications that you go for, the interviews and calls and things like that. So it's nice to have it all in one place. This is the grade calculator that I mentioned before. And although it's a nice idea, I personally didn't use it that much. I just focused on trying to get the best grade I could in the assignment that I was doing. You can change how all the calculations work if you understand formulas and it does go into a little bit down the bottom. I personally haven't used the CRM at all while studying, but it is a nice idea if you do tend to lose contact with some of the people that you talk to. Lesson plans, again, I didn't really use that much, but could be useful for potential teachers. And the class directory, I didn't actually use as a class directory. I used it as a team's directory, so I was ahead of a club. And I used it to keep track of all the players that I had and all the people that were interested in the club and things like that. I didn't use this personal page for class notes, and you'll see a different page in a minute that they've created for notes because I think notes are very personalized and you have to be able to take notes in a way that suits you. But it could be a good way to keep track of all of your notes. And this is a page for the Cornell's note-taking system, which if you're subscribed to Ali Abdul or any other studying YouTuber, education YouTuber, most of them have spoken about the Cornell system before. I think the best thing about this page is the template button down the bottom because it spews out a new template every single time you have a lecture or something that you need to take notes on. The reading list could be used for loads of different things. Personally, I actually used it as a reference list. So when I was researching for articles and things like that, I put the reference in there so I didn't have to go scrolling through Google Scholar over and over or PubMed or anything like that. The thesis planner I'm not using at all, but I have my own version of it, which helps me out. And I did use some of the things that they've used in this page. And for anyone that does want a simple overview budget, you can use Notion and there is one there. I personally am quite familiar with Excel, so I use Excel for that. But if you want everything in the same place, you can do it. Don't forget to watch this video for more productivity, tips, tricks and tools. I'll see you there.